Hello everybody and welcome to episode 11 of Agrarian Skies. This is the second time I'll record this, which means that we got a bunch of quests done. So I did this one and I did this one, um, which basically meant we made some tanks and we poured some, uh, what is this called? seared stone over this a book and then we got a new book it's basically all we did um i was telling a story and i just could not like get the story correct so i think what i'll do is i'm going to just kind of show that uh video and or you know what i'll do i'll just continue playing and then i'll voice over later when I can actually think. So basically, uh, the quest we're going to do right now is going to be the go with the flow fluid management, I think. I feel like that's a... Should we choose a different one? I never know what to do. Like, there's so many things. I don't know what to start with, you know? Uh, we could do one of the for the hoarding, because then I don't have to talk. I can just do it. Uh, jeez, that's a lot of bread. I need to kill witch, slime, and brain zombie. 10,000 ice. Okay. Well. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? Let's do this one. We really need this, so let's do digital storage, and this is in for the hoarding. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, uh, I guess, record me playing, and then I'll tell the story. You know what, let's try to do both at the same time, and if it doesn't work, then you'll hear a voiceover right now. If you're hearing this, then it's not a voiceover, and I'm actually talking. If you're not hearing this, then it is a voiceover, but you won't know because it's a voiceover. Okay, so first things first, let's make molecular containment wall. Okay, molecular, what, is that not what it's called? Containment wall. Oh. Wait, what? So confused. Did I say molecular containment wall? Oh, molecular. Okay, I see. So I guess we are going to need a bunch of these now that I think about it. We need more iron. Okay. So let me tell the story about what happened today. Uh, I'm gonna kind of be a little bit more brief, I think, this time. But uh, let's just start with basically, I had a job interview and I went to it and they made me take a typing test. So the way it worked is the typing test. Okay. They wanted you to have a minimum of 40 words per minute typing. And they wanted is this sand. Um, yeah, so I went in and I typed on the keyboard on on the person's laptop. And um, I had practiced beforehand and I was getting about 40, 41, 42. And I felt like I could do it. And then I went, you know, I went to the interview all dressed up with my tie and whatnot and stuff like that. And I get there and I sit down and she's like, okay, we're going to do the typing test. And I was like, okay, I guess so. Where's the computer? And then she pulls out the laptop and I'm like, because laptops are always like most keyboards, like desktop keyboards are pretty much the same. They're either chiclet mechanical or like the ones that are kind of mechanically like 
Like, if you've ever been to, like, a high school recently, everyone uses, like, the same Dell keyboards for the most part. Well, where we are anyway. So, like, if it, you know, that's the same one I use for my computer. I got it from the dump. Well, I stole it from my brother, but he got it from the dump. Um, and so, he, um, so the lady, you know, she asked me a bunch of questions, and then she's like, do this test. And she pulls out a ThinkPad, and, like, I knew it was a ThinkPad just because, like, well, I guess it says on it, doesn't it? But, you know, I know people that have ThinkPads and stuff like that. But I would never really typed on one before just because I've never needed to, I guess. Like, I have a MacBook Pro, and I never, like, that's what I practiced on. I, and then I practiced on um, my desktop, which is, I use a Dell keyboard. Um, so nothing, nothing fancy, but, oh, we got a bunch of junk in here. Let's get this out. Yeah, I still don't know what the problem with this is. That's the problem. Wait, what? Oh my god. Wait. Oh, it's just a visual glitch. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, just ignore the just ignore the the phone ringing in the background. Just ignore it. Um just ignore it. Don't don't even pay attention to it. Don't don't pay attention to it. Okay. It's gone now. So yeah, so I take the typing test and I felt like it was I did not my best job I guess but um the lady seemed pretty happy with it and when she like gave me the interview sheet I don't even know why that exists but it's just like a sheet with tons of questions that the person that was interviewing me would ask and then like a bunch of random information but it said on it my score and I got a 52 word per minute and that was I had thought I did bad but I guess I did pretty well like I'm sure 50 is nothing I'm sure you guys can type it 150 but eh, 50 is pretty good I I felt pretty, pretty I still feel pretty good about it um but let's do this but um yeah so I did that and then you know, I went to another room where another person interviewed me. And um, that person... Well, I, I don't know if I want to say anything bad about them. But let's just say... Their fingernails were so dirty. Like, you would think, you know, normal adults... People, you know, they... They have clean fingernails, right? I'm sure. But this person, man, it was like... Maybe it wasn't that they were dirty, it just looked like that. But it did. It looked like the person had been, um, like, I don't know, playing with dirt or something. And, like, had gotten dirt underneath their nails. Of course they had long nails, though, so I guess... It, it makes sense, but... I don't know. It just, like, surprised me, I guess. Because I'm, like, I'm sitting there, you know, I shaved my face, I took a shower, I put on a tie and a button shirt and I tucked into my pants and I put on my jacket and you know I had my nice shoes on and I, I'm like dancing behind the camera but there's no camera um, and you know I'm all dressed up and this person like came to work in like a sweater and like obviously didn't clean underneath their nails and I was like this is so weird but um not that it's like, I don't know, whatever. You know, I don't know. Maybe something happened and they couldn't wash their hands or something. Ah, not up to me. But it just struck out. But then, so I finished the interview and I go out to the waiting room again. I'm talking to the guy, the receptionist guy. I don't know what his name was. I don't think he said his name, actually, now that I think about it. But he was just like a normal guy, I guess. Uh... He was asking me about how I think it went and things like that. And, 
you know, I was just like, yeah, I felt like it went pretty fine, I guess. I, uh, did, uh, well on the typing task, blah, 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 and he noticed that I do CS stuff, and he was telling me about Instagram and Facebook apps and all this kind of stuff, but, uh, so yeah, and then the lady that gave me the typing test came out, and she was like, hey, um, do you have time right now to do some, to do some paperwork? And I was like, I guess so, and she was like, well, you got the job, just like nonchalantly, just, yeah, you got it, whatever, no big deal. And I was like, that's pretty cool. And then she was like, so you need to drive here and do out paperwork and stuff. So whatever. So I went back outside, and of course now it's like super hot outside. Which is tons of fun, because I'm wearing like... I don't know what is considered a pe Like how many pieces is a suit. I don't, I don't really understand that kind of stuff. But it was hot. And I'm wearing like long sleeves and a, tons of dark clothes, you know. Uh, it was it was so much fun. I think I'm not gonna voice over it, so good luck. But um, yeah, so I drive, and of course, you know, I put it in my phone for the GPS because you know you don't want to be lost on the way to. I guess it's not really an interview; it's more of a paperwork paperwork session. But so I was like, okay, I'm not gonna be lost, and I go, and of course, my phone is taking me like the longest way possible. Because, and the best part about my phone is because it's the best one you can buy, which is, you know, the iPhone, what is it, 4, I think I have. But it's the best one you can buy currently, you know, uh, I'm just that cool. We need more gold now. Because it's the best one you can buy, um, obviously I'm joking, the, um... The, like, picture, I don't know how to explain it. Like, when I when you're driving, you know how it shows your, like, car on the road, so you know, like, when you need to kind of turn? Well, my phone doesn't really do that. It, like, shows the directions, and it doesn't tell you when to do anything sometimes. Most of the time it'll tell you, but sometimes it chooses not to tell you just for fun. And then it'll just, um like show you in the middle of the ocean when you're like not near the ocean at all so it's like oh take a left here and then you take a left and on the map it shows that you're taking like three rights and you're like i don't understand what's going on and like it's on it's on like the highway and you're just driving down the road it's like really weird but um so it took me like the longest way but i finally found it so here's the weird part so i go in and it's still really hot. And um, I go in, I go to the receptionist, and I was like, I'm here to see this person, you know, uh, about this reason. And they were like, okay, just take a seat. And so I take a seat, and this person comes in, and um, they were just, they came in, and the receptionist was like, who are you? And they're like, oh, I'm here for my 1130, uh, what is this? Oh, this should go in the, in this thing. Obviously this doesn't work. I tried to set this up earlier, but it doesn't work apparently. Um, well, okay. And they were like, yeah, I'm here for my 1130 appointment. And... <laughs> And then I looked at my watch, because I was like, wait a second. And it was like 11.45 or something like that. And I was like, really? You have, uh, not appointment, I guess, interview? I was like, you're here for an interview at 11.30, and you're already 15 minutes late. And I was like, that's not too good. But, um, and then of course, like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't want to be mean, I guess. But the person was, you know, like, before I went, I looked up business professional and, like, interview clothes to make sure. Because you don't want to show up wearing the wrong thing. But this person obviously did not look at anything. They just were like, I'll wear this this thing that I, that I own because, 
I, you know, I, I like it. Why not? And so they were wearing this, like, short, um, like a dress kind of thing. Um, I don't, I don't know much about clothes, so it's hard for me to describe it. They were wearing, like, a, yeah, it's like a dress. Like a dress, but it's, like, not, like, you could probably use it to, um, mop up a spill. Like, it looks absorbent. Um, <laughs> such a weird way to put it. I don't know how many of these I'll need. So let's start mapping out where it would go. It's gonna go right here. So let's say, like, actually, we're gonna get some cobble so I can make it bigger. How is he not burning? Um, yeah, it was like a, you know, like a, I don't know, clothy material. I don't, I feel like an idiot, but, but either way, it was way, way too short. Like, you know, I'm not an expert on women's fashion, and I don't ever want to be really, I guess, but, you know, when, when you're going to an interview, you shouldn't be dressed like... I guess when you're going to an interview for, like, a position at, like, an office, you shouldn't be wearing, like, you know, your clothes to go out to the club. You know, like, she was obviously not wearing the correct, like, a, I don't know, appropriate clothing, I guess. And, uh, I was just like, how could you, how do you... Like, it's the same thing with the person with the fingernails. It's like, it's just one of those things that, like, to me, I guess it makes perfect sense. But maybe they just don't realize it. I don't, I don't know. Why would you dress like that to an interview? And then what else happened? And then, uh, so I go in, fill out paperwork, blah, blah, blah. And... I guess that's how big I want it. Why not? We'll do a 3x3 three three in the center. I don't really know how this works. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. So we need, what is this? One, this is three, so this is eight plus four, so 12. No, there's no way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we're going to need 13, 16 total, right? 5, 9, that would be... No, wait a second. Okay, that's 5, just that side. And then 4, that's 9. And then 3, that's 11, 12, 12. And then these two, that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, just for this circle? I don't, I don't think I counted that correctly, but we're going to need a lot more. Okay, now we need more gold. Well, this is going to be fun. Um... Yeah, I don't know, I just, I don't know, it's just like I thought, you know, people would think of that, but whatever, I, so I go in, I fill out tons of paperwork, blah, 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 and I go to, oh, uh, what? No. Nah. more gold. Gold! Um, I filled out paperwork, and then I was sitting there with this guy, um, who was filling out paperwork, and he was like, oh, you got a nice watch, and I was wearing a, uh, I'm wearing my Pebble watch, of course, because it is definitely a nice watch. Plus, they said, like, no cell phones in the building, and so I said, well, I need a clock to make sure I'm on time, so, yeah, but... 
So I was talking to him while I was filling out my paperwork because it's just like, write your name 30 times, write your address 30 times, uh, write your social security number 30 times, and then uh, just initial here twice, um, sign the paper 15 times. And I was like, great. So me and him are talking, and he said uh, he was a... What was I talking to him about? Oh, yeah, he said that he was a, um, a, he said he was an English major in college, I guess, before he came to work at this place. And, um, well, I guess he's working, he's going to be working there. Um, but, because I was wondering, like, I guess it's kind of offensive to say, but, like, people, I guess I didn't say what the job is. Basically, the job is, uh, people call, like, let's say you're a person and you pay for your cable bill, and then all one day you come home and your cable's, like, cut off because you didn't pay the bill. That's kind of, and then you call these people and then they're like, hey... You didn't pay your bill and then you're like oh okay I'm sorry and then it's fixed but um, so that's kind of what the job is it's three and then one more um, I made one too many that sucks did I yeah it looks like it no wait a second yeah, definitely. Made two too many. Too many. Because um, I was wondering, like, normally you go to college and you have, like, an idea of what you want to do, right? Okay, so the next thing we need is the uh, heat vent. Oh. Oh, yeah, heat vent, pattern provider, and crafting CPU. So let's check out what the heat vent is, because that's probably the cheapest. Um, normally, you go, like, for example, I go to school for computer science, and to me, like, you know, when I grow up, when I graduate, I want to have a... So we need 3 times 4, which is... Apparently not enough. Okay. When I graduate, I want to get like a job that's in CS and you know um, doing that kind of stuff. So we need more ME cable programming and whatnot, that kind of stuff. You know, that's what I want to do. But you know, when you think about people that work at these kind of, uh, I need more nether quartz dust. People that work at, like, a customer service place like this. I think that, is it customer service? I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what the term for, like, the business is. But people that work at a customer service place, it's, um, you never think, like, you don't go to college for customer service. Like, if you're going to do something similar, you might go for, like, PR or management or something like that. So I was talking to the guy, telling him, you know, I go for CS, and he was telling me, no, 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 heat vent. And he's telling me he went for English, but he kind of wished he had gone for CS, I guess he said. Um, and I was telling him, you know, I, I know of people that did the opposite. They leave and do English instead of CS, but, um, well, that's great. That'll give us so much. Once we have this, though, we'll be able to just, like, auto-craft, and it's going to be so amazing. So then, um, we're talking and blah, 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 and he's asking me, you know, where I want to... Actually, I think I might need that. No, I don't. I don't think so. I was looking up something earlier and I just got reminded of it. Uh, so heat 
vent. What are we short on? Iron? We're just going to be short on metals because I haven't been working on them because they're kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but, you know, I always wondered, like, you know, I understand, you know, when you need to pay your rent, you got to get a job. I get that. But, you know, like, there's, I'm sure there's people that go into the job saying, like, hey, this is what I wanted to do. Like, this is what I wanted to, well, maybe you don't say that. I don't know. I always thought, like, I never, I couldn't figure out what kind of major, I guess, you could say you would go into to become this kind of person. But I guess communications, maybe. Because it's like, you're on the phone, that's kind of communicating. Excuse me. Um, but I don't know. What else happened? I feel like that was like the end of my story, but... Oh, wait a second. Look at that, we got a bunch more iron. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. So we're gonna need... I don't even have any torches. Gosh. Oh. Almost died. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Nope. Brains. As long as I don't get knocked off, I'm pretty fine with this. Um, let's put some more torches down. Cover this so I don't fall in. Um, yeah, now I totally forgot what I was talking about. But look how many animals we have. That's pretty nice. Although they're loud. So we need 27 of these, right? We made so many. Iron. Bars. So we need four of these for one of these. So that means we need 27 times four, which is... Uh... Three times thirty six, which is twelve times three, which is thirty six. No, that's wrong. Let's just make a bunch. How about that? <laughs> My math skills are so bad. Heat vent, that's what I want. We need more iron. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. But once it's built, it's going to be even better than great. Oh, I just realized we're going to need the top part and the bottom part as well. Oh, let's kill these guys. I moved the head back so that there would be... There would be less of that happening. Less of me dying. Or getting, like, randomly shot. That guy did not obviously want it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to die. Oh, luckily he missed. Luckily he missed. But then, I got McDonald's, so it worked out. Oh, I killed the pigman. Oh, yeah. There was a pigman, but I killed it. Um, you guys probably won't see that, because... 
I probably won't show it at this point. But, you know what, I'll stick it at the end, like at 400 speed. And then, if you want to watch it, you can watch it. Um, uh, anything else? It's already been 30 minutes, and we haven't even made it. Like, we made that. This is totally a streaming game. Actually, that reminds me. I was watching Pack Rat stream, which, at this, like... At this point, oh, oh my God! <laughs> yeah, I was watching Packrat stream a Grain Skies, and his map is not only is he like very far along; he's basically at the end, I think. But he is like, I don't want to say like the least organized because I'm sure he knows where everything is. But, like, it's just, like, there's, I don't even know, everything's, like, a one-wide passage, and it's, like, an entire wall of, uh, pulverizers, an entire wall of redstone engines, and then you go downstairs, and there's tons of random stuff all over the place, and... I've been playing the entire time with my F3 on. I will tell you, I've played, let's say, let's let's just talk about Packrat. Basically, I was going to say I've played a lot with my F3 on by accident. A lot. Um, but, yeah, Packrat, but I was watching his stuff, and he's pretty near the end. He's does, he does some pretty cool things with um, the end mods. Let's go get some more. Uh, shears, uh, wool. And get out of here. Um, and it's some pretty cool s stuff. So I suggest you watch it. I mean, he does it live, but I, I think you can watch the archives. Get out of here. You know what happened to the last guy that tried to get out? He fell off a cliff. I have a hammer right here. I'll just smack you with it. Also, I was working with this fish thing while I I have like 10, not even 10 seconds. I have negative 10 seconds. Uh, uh, I was working with this fish thing. And I realized that you could do this. That is all. I know where I'm going to put this, actually. Well, geez. Uh, there we go. Actually, let's just break the top. There we go. Man, what the heck? Oh, I think I know the problem. I need a piece of wool right here. Well, yeah, that's the problem, which means I can do this. Nope, I did it wrong. But that's fine. We're no longer praising the road. Oh, jeez. Okay. Actually, it's not just the walrus. It's it's the king walrus, of course. There we go. No one cares about your stupid road. It's all about the walrus. There you go. I make an offering to you, walrus. Um, this spider eye. Please accept my offer. I'm going to die. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, please accept my offering. No, you have to accept my offering.
I was actually about to jump off, <laughs> but I um, I was like, no, there's no way I'm jump. Ooh, there's no way I'm jumping off now. Um, but that's it. Let's look at the death counter for this episode. I totally. I don't know. Click here to start. I've died 12 times. So let's see what I've died to. I fell once. I died to the void once. Did I? I died to an explosion once. I died to starvation four times. Wait. So I died. Oh, here we go. Five times to monster. So that's five, six, seven, eight, twelve. Yep. Worst players? Me. Who's C? Cough. Oh, also, you saw that explosion? I was putting this thing here. It exploded and I flew off and I fell like right here. And I was just like. <sighs> no, I was like, geez. I almost fell. And of course, I was off camera, so no one would have believed me. Ooh. I don't have a block on the left side right here to match this one. But uh, I guess that's it for today. Um, ooh. Wait, is it not pumping this out? Did it just... I reach that chest from here. No wonder. What the heck? Ignore NBT, ignore metadata. Why isn't it pumping it? Does it not pump out the front? I guess let me just grab this stuff. I don't really need that. Um, but, uh, my brain. I really wanted to jump off and be like, I'll save you, but I don't have a, uh, a jetpack, so I would just very very quickly die oh you know what goes in here grasshoppers which we're gonna get some to refill it for the end of the episode but uh that was the green skies episode 11 thank you guys for watching so much i know i went over by five minutes but also who cares the last episode went under for like 20 minutes so one of the episodes did i think i don't know about that but Thank you guys for watching. That does it not do anything. Oh, whoa, what? Let's do this. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this episode of A Grand Skies. Oh, some of these are rubber leaves. Rubber leaves don't do anything. Wow. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, you can get this at the on the Feed the Beast launcher, which is available at, I don't know, Google Feed the Beast launcher. Um, it's in third-party mod packs. Uh, yeah, make sure you download the map before after you install the mod pack before you launch download this map it's called like home sweet home or something or single player map i don't know it's made just for this mod pack um, but it's on a different tab you have to click on there's like third party mod packs and then there's like maps and you click on maps then you click on download and then you click back and then you hit launch it's very simple 
Um, next time we will finish that. I'm going to AFK and try to um, get a bunch of gold and iron so we can finish that. Because we need to. Yes, but thanks again. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or subscribe. Ooh. Oh yeah, I threw it. How did I not pick that up? Uh, <laughs> yes. But most of all, if you really enjoyed this video, please come back and watch the next one. Because <laughs> I would love... I don't really care if you subscribe or like or downvote. I don't even know. But as long as you watch and you enjoy, that's all I care about. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any... Uh, what's it called? Requests? Whoa. For what to do next. I won't be able to... Technically, this video will go up in like a week and a half, so if you have any requests, please put them in the comments below, and I will try to get to them as uh, soon as possible. So if you want me to, I don't know, what if you want me to do, let's see, Steel Powered Flight, Bees and Trees, You're a Wizard, whatever one you want me to do next, I will do next, after we do the... Uh, digital storage this one after we do this one I will do any other one you want even if you want me to do the cobble one which requires octuple compressed and everyone knows octuple compressed is like 4 million cobble 43 million cobble I'm sorry uh, but yes now I've gone over an entire 10 minutes so thank you guys for oh you know what this would be a good sacrifice to the walrus gods Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Magical walrus, my family, my wife, she is dying, and my son, he is an idiot. Please help me. I have brought you the technologies of wheel and water. I know how wal walruses love water. Yes.